Hello everybody. First of all, thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is monthly tarot and astrology reading for astrological sign Scorpio for both female and for male people all over the world. February 2017 in front of us. Let us try to see together, my dear friends, what you can expect. In front of you, you can see this astrological uh, chart from your first house, from your personality, through whole houses until uh, your 12th. I will put planets and you will have opportunity to see how basically planets are shifting in the month of February for you. After that, of course, I will put, I will first reshuffle and then I will put for every single part of your life for one tarot card, but for uh, those, uh, but for those uh, seven house of yours, uh, where you can expect good, uh, most likely, um, news about your married life or basically love in general, I'll put additional additional to tarot cards. Okay, my dear Scorpio people, uh, let me start with uh, with the uh, Venus and Mars and Uranus being in your sixth house. So Venus, Mars, Uranus are in your sixth house. Sixth house, this is basically where you can find um, news uh, comes uh, for your diet, uh, then basically for your job, for your health uh, situation and those things. With Mars and Venus being placed in your sixth house, basically you can fall in love with your colleagues. Maybe this is all already ongoing, you know, uh, situation in your life. But if you, I don't know, maybe you are already married, but still, especially with Uranus being placed in a sixth house, this could be maybe even, you know, relationship, maybe even a secret relationship with your colleague. If you are single, then with your colleague, you can start a relationship. But when it comes only to your job, first of all, your health is going to be extraordinary good. But when it comes only to your job, basically, this also could be new new um, news about getting a job getting a job so this is quite very 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 good position for you but because this is woman and a man venus and mars very easily in the month of february you can start a relationship with your colleague maybe this is already on ongoing you know relationship with your colleague sun is in your fourth house which is good for your for your home life this is good for maybe even buying a new house or buying buying a furniture for your house this could be any other very very good uh, news when it comes to your family someone in your family will reveal some very very good news and because of course you have mercury next to sun in your fourth house so this is basically good positive news when it comes to your to your members of your family you can buy home you can buy a new computer uh, for your home you can buy i don't know tv i don't know you can buy something uh, some something uh, some type of gadget for for communication something of that kind but also you can start thinking you know how about that buying maybe even a new car or you know making something around your house but could be anything anything else okay Jupiter is in the sign of Libra and this is your 12th house. Jupiter also is going to be in a retrograded motion in the month of February. So my dear my dear uh, Scorpio people, uh, oh, this is also a sign for you that you can you can fall in love maybe all of the sudden and this is sign for me very very clear that you can st you can start secret love relationship and I already told you there is a Mars and a Venus being in your 6th house. And this house basically is opposition of sixth house. Can you see how this is activated? Twelfth and sixth house. Also, you can dream about your next partner and all everything that you are going to dream about, everything you will find a little bit later in your real life. You are powerful when it comes to your twelfth house. You are very, very powerful, almost like a psychic medium. You can attract very, very easy. Uh, men in your life and if you are male Scorpio then basically you can attract very 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 easily 
someone new. Maybe already now when I'm recording this video, maybe already know that you have a secret admirer, um, uh, some, somebody who is very, very close to you. But for many Scorpio people, this is quite very, very clear sign that you will fall in love and this really might be a secret love relationship with someone who is very, very educated, with someone who is smart and with someone with whom, with whom you can make um, almost, you know, magical, magical connection, uh, telepathic, telepathic connection. This person could be a Sagittarius, this person could be Pisces, uh, this person could be Libra, uh, could be Aries, uh, Leo or maybe even Taurus. Pluto is still and going to remain in your a third house for a couple of years <coughs> excuse me uh, and you know that Pluto and uh, Neptune and um, and Uranus this is more like generation generational planets uh, but Pluto will have at least some kind of impact when it comes to communication so when it when we talk only about communication dealing with your friends maybe there is something basically that you need that you need you know to shift at least you know a little something okay saturn is in your second house trying to teach you how you can earn your money okay to have saturn in your second house this is not very uh, you know position uh, for you this is not easy dealing with a saturn because this is uh, this is your money house how you value money and how you can earn your money but believe me saturn will give you opportunity especially um, especially a little bit, you know, later in 2017, he will teach you so many new skills and uh, this type of skills will stay for you forever. I mean, forever. Also having Saturn in your second house, Saturn will almost torture you. But don't, don't, don't think about Saturn that basically he is here and now to torture you. Saturn is your very best friend. This is like your father who is shouting uh, at you uh, you need to educate yourself sit down learn and learn and learn and of course you're going to hate this impact of planet saturn when it comes to your money but believe me believe me when finally saturn moved to your third house then you will have foundation nobody can take away your education nobody can take away this foundation which will stay inside of you so maybe now it is a little bit you know hard uh, in your life my dear Scorpios when it comes when it comes when how you can earn your money but believe me believe me Saturn and all impacts that finally Saturn will leave on you is going to be valuable valuable like like nothing uh, that you have experienced before okay uh, February 11th you, uh, we have the full moon in the sign of Leo, which is your 10th house. Now, this is your career section. This is your career with the full moon in the sign of Leo. This is this is big burst of big burst of 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 energy. This is almost like explosion. And which house is the opposite? Sun and Mercury. Can you see? Maybe finally you will say, okay, enough of this BS. I do not want to work for my current um uh, employer i want to work from my house and you will change not listening to your manager but basically become manager of your own if you have an idea what to do how to do something from your house then you can do that like like that maybe ain't gonna be easy because you have saturn in a second house but believe me you will never regret this final decision with this full moon in a sign of leo this is big burst of energy and finally finally uh, founding this like a f uh, last step toward your new idea how basically you can earn your money for some of you this could be a big 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 promotion okay february 26th this is this is the new moon in your fifth house this is your creativity and didn't I told you, everything is connected, every single detail, detail when it comes to astrology and uh, events, everything is connected. I mean, everything about what you are dreaming now, 
Saturn who is testing you, Pluto who want to change the way how you are addressing to your siblings, to your friends and how you communicate. Uh, Sun and Mercury calling your name, you being a little bit, you know, uh, angry about your circumstances when it comes to your career and then bang, fifth house, new moon screaming, what about your creativity, what you can do, change something, but also with new moon being in your fifth house, this is new love on your horizon. Now, this is your astrology for the month of February. Now you can hear I'm shuffling my tarot deck. Now I will put card for every single area in your life. So we will try to connect all together in a story. Okay, enough of shuffling. Okay, first tarot card would be Six of Pentacles. And this is money putting yourself in a balance. Can you see? Giving and receiving. Giving and receiving. You will give someone money and you will expect some, some money, you know, uh, return back. Or basically, uh, service for money, money for service. Some, some, this is basically the theme when it comes to your first house. But this is you most likely receiving money for some kind of service, which basically you are giving to someone else. When it comes to your second house, this is what I have for you. Four of wands. Now, this is completion of something. Completion. This is almost living in a paradise, living in a paradise. Now, brother and sister, father or mother could be very, very, very important for you. Very, very important. This is you receiving money. Maybe for your parents. Can you see that? Maybe for your parents. Maybe they will say to you, okay, you are old enough. Uh, educate yourself, we will pay for your schooling, we will pay for your college or university, and maybe, you know, later you can pay this money back to us. But you will understand that this is this is opportunity, you, you just can't, don't miss this opportunity, whatever it is, because this is blessing coming your way. Your third house, Major Arcana, the Emperor, this is... Um, Aries, this is uh, Leo, this is uh, Capricorn, this is uh, Sagittarius, Taurus, maybe someone who is going to help you, but could be friend in love with you, because this is your third house, friends, you know, siblings, and also um, connection with your father, maybe he need you, maybe you need your father, whatever it is, this man, most likely, most likely man, authoritative type of figure, will talk with you, someone who is uh, ready and willing to basically save you, to give you advice, and maybe even this is the person who will give your money to start a new job, or maybe paying for your college, paying for your university, or, you know, whatever. This is beautiful, beautiful card to have in your third, in your third house. This is your fourth house, six of wands. This is sign of a victory. Of course, this is sign of victory, when you have Mercury and the Sun in conjunction in your fourth house. So this is a victory. This victory basically is going to be produced somehow inside of your house. So this is victory, some big victory. Maybe this is finally buying a new house. Could be anything else. Maybe this is you shifting to, uh, maybe this is your marriage on your horizon. Maybe this is you, you moving uh, in house of your new husband but whatever it is this is big victory in your in your fourth house okay fifth house with the new moon you have justice this is sign of a karmic relationship very very positive for you very very positive for you because this is new moon this is someone that you do not know now but because you have uh, Jupiter in a retrograded motion in your uh, 12th house. This is directly, directly um, uh, meeting a partner from your previous incarnation. Okay, this is your 6th house and I have for you Queen of Wands. Now, do you remember in your 6th house you have Venus and Mars, very powerful, powerful constellation with the Queen of Wands. Wants. Now, who is this person? Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries? If you are just about to start, you will have a chance, believe me, 
this is most likely secret for some, at least for some of you secret relationship but doesn't have to be secret relationship could be relationship now with someone that you already know someone that you longing for someone and now this man can enter into your life now how about that your seventh house this is your marriage ace of pentacles this is something new this is very very supportive type of relationship because this is earth energies now you are entering into can you see this uh gaze you entering into totally totally new life this is totally totally new life and this is only the beginning something is shifting in a big big way for you the opposite card this is your personality do you remember six of pentacles and this is ace of pentacles so this is new especially this is good to start a relationship with your colleague when i finish the whole circle then i will put additional two tarot cards now this is your sixth house uh, uh about uh, sex about inheritance about legacy this is some problems dealing with other people problems you need to help someone out now maybe this is problem of your current partner maybe your partner have money problems maybe your partner have maybe even health issues this is not that good a tarot card for your sexual relationship but this is generally reading, reading doesn't have to be for all scorpio and in opposition you have four of wands okay so you need to think how to spice a little bit when it comes only to your sexual relationship this is your ninth house uh this is your goals uh this is a religion religion beliefs uh trips okay with major arcana judgment you will have opportunity most likely this opportunity for traveling this is your business traveling for business now in the month of february something will happen for you something maybe because of this person you will shift you will change your life forever for good you can also meet very very important business associate online you can start even a uh, business like a job with this person or maybe some of you you will have opportunity to meet your future uh, future um, marriage partner because this is judgment tarot card this is big 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 changing on your horizon if you are dealing already with someone online basically this is shifting new chapter starting living with this man that you are going to meet online okay full moon in your 10th house with the knight of cups and this is you knight of cups this is scorpio this is scorpio female and, and male people okay in opposition do you remember what you have now this is six of wands this is knight of cups this is full moon in your in your career section and in opposition this is sun and mercury so you will you are going to be victorious now can you see that can you see that this is big 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 shifting when it comes for better for good for very very positive when it comes to your career section and this is you you will finally be so courageous and you will finally make your move so make your move do not hesitate and do not feel any kind of you know fear this is your final tarot card this is 12th house and i have major arcana the devil now this is exactly what i thought this is your ex trying to come back to you and i told you that jupiter is going to be in your 12th house in the retrograde motion someone is obsessively still connected with you okay in opposition you have queen of wands with the sun uh, with with mars and and venus so basically this is very easy for me to predict someone will approach to you someone from your past someone that you already know someone who is much more younger someone who is much more older than you and basically this is starting once again of course if you want if you want a reconciliation you will have a, like a big 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 opportunity to do that now i promise to you uh, to put additional to tarot cards when it comes only to your seven house do remember in your seven house you have ace of pentacles this is new beginning and 
I have ace of wands and I have two of swords. Now, first and foremost, you have two aces. So this would be Capricorn, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. And with the two of swords, you just can't decide. Whenever you get in a reading two of swords, you can't decide to go back to your ex or basically to start new love relationship. With the two of swords, this is always, always, always trying to reach some kind of balance. I can see, my dear Scorpio people, uh, this, this ain't gonna be easy for you because uh, one partner can give you uh, money support, but the other one basically give you a belly inside of your stomach. So you need to make your final decision. What you want? Do you want to be in a relationship with someone who can support you? Who can give you you know money serious love relationship or basically do you want do you want to be with someone uh, and this is very very uh, good uh, sexual relationship full of chemistry you are dreaming you already now are dreaming and i can see behind you full moon and the full moon is you already know will happen uh, basically on february 11th february 11th is going to be around this date also is going to be the most important when it comes to your marriage to new love relationship or you know whatever because i can see two men one man you already know most likely this is this is your ex and the other one is someone new so basically you need to to understand what you want because two of swords this is you you want to delay final decision if you are already married uh, then basically I already told you you will have opportunity to start in some kind of secret relationship because you have also made your Akana the devil in your 12th house and if you're single you will have opportunity to dream about about this man. Awkward synchronicities this is also basically what you can expect and this is you daydreaming daydreaming when you at least expect you will have not one but two opportunities when it comes to your love life in the month of february if you are already attached then basically there is nothing wrong with your married life you need to think about your career and you you need to think about your home and this is beautiful beautiful peer placement with the sun and and the mercury in your fourth house okay to tell you the truth, my dear Scorpio friends, you will remember month of February to be such a good month for you. Many, 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 many new doors, uh, different doors are going to be opened. Uh, what you need to do, you need to make your decision. Do you want to go forward? Do you want to go backwards? Uh, do you want to start business uh, of your own? You can do basically whatever you want okay beautiful beautiful month uh, so this is it uh, thank you so very much for being here please put your comments down below on my uh, channel how you like this type of reading subscribe on my channel please thank you like and share this video with your friends god bless you all take care bye bye